in eclipse in case we want to import maven projects there are multiple options and we will explore most of them first one is to import an existing maven project there is a maven project which is there in your desktop how to import that into eclipse next i'll discuss how to check out a maven project from scm source code management tool last two are more common import project from git and import project from git with smart import let's start with import an existing maven project I have a sample Maven project here in this particular location, github.com J2E Expert 2015 Sample Maven app. Go here, click on this code button and download the zip file. Extract this. Cut it. I'm going to paste it in a particular location. So I'm pasting it over here. And as it has the branch name appended at the end, I'm just going to rename it go to eclipse this is the eclipse version i have but more or less for all of the versions of eclipse the methods that i am going to show here should be working the eclipse that i am using is 2023-26 closing it so to import a project go to file to import a maven project go to file click on import expand this maven existing maven project next i need to browse to the location where my project is present this is the project. Select this folder. Click on select folder. Click on finish. Importing Maven project will take a while. I'll pause the recording and we'll resume once it is done. Project import is complete. Now once the project is imported, we need to perform certain steps. First of all, right click. Click on properties. Click on Java peeled path. You should first check whether the library is proper or not. In case you need to change it, click on edit. I have a local JDK. I want to point it to this one. This is JDK 1.8.0. Click on finish. Click on Java compiler. Apply. This one also you should check whether the compiler compliance level is correct or not. Otherwise in build you are going to have problems. In my case it is fine. Otherwise I would have changed it from here. Apply and close. Click yes. Now I need to build this project. Right click. Go to run as. For Maven project you will see this predefined configurations there is option to build clean install test i generally prefer this option this fourth one maven build and with three dots here we can write the goals which we want to execute i am typing in the goals clean and install apply run the build is in progress it's basically a sample spring boot application in case i expand this the build is successful and if we want we can run it from here. Let me just run it for demo purpose. Allow access. So the application is up and running. Out of the four options, first one we have covered. Let me stop this application. Delete this project. Continue. The next option that we are going to explore is checking out a Maven project from SCM. For that, go to File, Import. This is the option. Check out Maven projects from SCM, Source Code Management. Click next. By default, you won't see any URL available here. In order to make it work, we need to install one plugin from eGit. I'll show you how to do that. Click cancel. Go to window. Preferences. Click on Maven. Expand this. Select this discovery. Click on open catalog. Here you can see this connectors. If you scroll down at the bottom, you will find this M2E eGit. Maven SCM handler for eGit. Select this. Click on finish. This would take a while. I would pause the recording for the time being. Click on next. Click next again. I accept the terms of license agreements. Click on finish. Click on select all. Click trust selected. Apply and close. Now it is installing the software. Similarly, I would pause the recording and once there is a progress, I'll resume the recording. Select all. Click on trust selected again. Restart Eclipse ID to apply the software update. Restart now. Now again, I'll go to file, import, select this checkout Maven projects from SCM. Click next. Now you can see under this SCM URL, Git is appearing. Earlier, it was blank. I'll go back to my chrome browser click over here copy the url go to eclipse and paste this url over here click next finish 
you can see on the left hand side the maven application is appearing similar to the earlier part we can build the process right click run as and here we can configure the maven settings as we wish i'm not going to repeat the same process so we have seen importing an existing project and checking out the project from source code management i'm going to delete this project now we are going to see the options to import the maven project from git using smart import and the normal way deleting this project again go to file import instead of maven select this option git here we have two options projects from git and projects from git with smart import now in case of the first option we need to convert the project whichever we are importing to a maven project and in the second case eclipse is intelligent enough in case it is a maven project it will understand and accordingly do the necessary setup for us let's check them out first projects from git next clone uri next again i have already copied the url that is why it is showing here you can provide your credentials if needed otherwise you can skip it click next it is showing me both branches available in the project if i go here in this particular project there are two branches that is why it is showing me both options i won't change it keep it default click next so here i have the option to set the directory i'll keep it as is next again import as general project so it is a general project click on finish now in this case if i right click if you see over here i don't have any run configuration hence i need to go to configure convert to maven project and now it is changing it to maven project now if i right click here i have the build options so same thing i need to do i need to go to properties and check the jdk build path and the java compiler just to see things are fine i need to change it over here also but i'm not going to repeat the same process now the last and final option we are going to explore let me delete this project delete project content on disk as well file import projects from git with smart import clicking next select clone uri I have the URI already available. Next again, click next. Next again. Here it is already showing import as Maven. So it is able to identify that it is a Maven project. Click finish. If I go here and right click and go to run as, you can see the Maven configurations or the Maven run configurations are already available. So in this lesson, we covered all the four ways to import maven projects into eclipse the first one was to import an existing project second one checking out a project from scm or source code management and the last two were importing projects from git one is the general version and the second one which is the preferred one is with the smart import